Naruto x Hinata is a toxic relationship. Kinda. While I don't have any real issue with Naruto and Hinata being together in general, I more so take note of how their relationship has formed over the years and notice that the writing for them getting together is kinda mismatched, mainly with how Hinata is the main one showing interest in Naruto, while Naruto hardly pays attention to her, more so focusing on Sakura if anything. And while Hinata is realistically the only character suitable to be with Naruto, I'd be hard pressed to say that Hinata got the man that she deserves as opposed to the one she wants. While looking at most of their interactions in the show, Hinata is seen more as a timid individual in general, in which Naruto himself found a bit weird. But that in of itself doesn't make their relationship useless. What was definitely apparent is that Hinata was overall kind to Naruto, in which he returned the favor in wanting her to succeed, like during Hinata's fight with Neji and Naruto cheering her on in the sidelines. That said, it could be just seen as a friend showing support to another friend, but I'm sure Hinata took it more to heart given that she has a huge crush on Naruto at this point. Fast forward to the Shippuden era, and things are more so stagnant with the relationship given that it hasn't developed much, even toward the end of the war arc. Now this is an underlying issue with part 2 of the story of Naruto in general, in which side characters of the show are being thrown to the wayside, but that doesn't excuse the fact that it's still an underlying issue for Naruto and Hinata's relationship as it doesn't grow much because of it. Hinata is being more so shy to Naruto again, seemingly being regressed as a character to a certain extent, given that in part 1, it seemed like she would take more action with not only her opponents, but with her pursuing her feelings towards Naruto. The last true development, if you want to call it that, happened near the end of the show in the war arc, where Neji died and she gave a pep talk to Naruto, but watching your friend become a pencil stick holder shouldn't invoke romantic feelings. Now if it does make Naruto more interested in Hinata, then sure, but it would seem more forced than anything. Now something I'm not gonna force you to do, but you totally should, is liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more Naruto content. We just hit over a thousand subscribers, and I'm truly grateful whether you've been here from the beginning or you just came about. Now if we do reach 100,000 subscribers, I'll be sure to definitely read one page of the One Piece manga and not gag about it. I'll at least try. Now before I go over the last era, I do want to know one thing about Naruto that would have failed him even if he tried getting with any other female in the show, in that he has no real idea of what love is supposed to be. He had the unfortunate childhood that led him to living a life of solitude, with him not interacting with much people, and even when he did, they were hitting on him from the jump, either because of his pranks or because of the Ninetales fox that sealed within him. I do give Hinata credit for being one of the few people in the Leaf who wasn't a complete jerk to Naruto, as she gets to more so admire him for his tenacious attitude. This carries over into Shippuden, but as for Naruto, Naruto, he doesn't quite get that Hinata has feelings for her, or that he had feelings for her, until the last story came about. And even then, it seems more forcibly calibrated than anything for Naruto. I remember there was even a line in the movie where he compared his love to Hinata to a bowl of ramen. Now it's crazy to think about that the closest thing that Naruto has come to know what love is is through freaking noodles, but it makes sense if you think about it. Again, Naruto had no love growing up, not even from a parental figure. He obviously couldn't fathom the idea of what it means to be in love, especially with all the leaf villagers hating on him. He would only be able to find solace and warmth through the comfort of food. So when it came for Naruto and Hinata to be together, it doesn't seem like natural progression for Naruto, and I could argue Hinata as well. Now I deem that it does make sense for those two to end up together, but only based on circumstances. Hinata hasn't really loved anyone else to that extent, and while Naruto after the war arc could bag any female he wants, it wasn't on his mind to begin with. Instead of it being a match made in heaven, it's more so a match made in purgatory, assuming there was no one else in the vicinity. They just ended up being together. So at the end of the day, it's not like Naruto and Hinata's relationship is the worst, but it could have been better handled. He Ishimoto's strong suit is creating an overall amazing story with great plot and action sequences, but not when it comes to the romantic relationships. And that's okay for the most part, as I'm sure most people watching Naruto weren't in it for the romantic subplots, but that doesn't mean it can't be critiqued, even in the case of Hinata and Naruto. And hey, at the very least, it's a way better relationship when comparing it to Sakura and Sasuke, where we do see their relationship unfold, but only for us to realize that it's more so an abusive relationship if anything else. So I'll pass the question off to you guys. What do you think of Naruto and Hinata's relationship as a whole? Did you overall enjoy it? Or were you more so underwhelmed and would say that it could have been better handled? I would love to get y'all's opinion on it, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you do want to see side characters in Naruto live up to their potential, click the card you see on screen that will lead you to my video on how side characters in Naruto are not that bad. Until next time, I'm the Curly Hirokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.